Thomas asks, would you be willing to sacrifice your ethics for a business win? Thomas, this is a great question. As you know, it's I, because of the Ask Gary Vee show and how busy I've been, I haven't been answering a lot of the Ask Gary Vee, if any, of the Ask Gary Vee questions as they come through my Twitter feed. But I answered that one pretty damn quick. India, give me the call on how fast I responded to that in um, minutes or days. Well, it looks like less than Less than a couple minutes, good. So, uh, and the answer was a big fat no. And, and by the way, I'm gonna break this down into an interesting place. So, it's not only no because I wanna live a noble life and be a good dude and like ethics matter to me and, and my legacy, I think everybody who knows me knows my legacy. I'm obsessed with my legacy uh, over the currency and, and so that, that would be that factor. But it's also because I actually think it's practically the right thing. Like, I'm a big fan, right, of like, the slower hedged money. Like I, I just, I feel like I make more money if I don't grasp at the money that's in front of me. And so one of the biggest reasons I won't break my ethics is if I do break my ethics, the people that I'm building around me would see that. You know, my assistants see everything that I do. They have complete act. Steve, you have access to my inbox? Steve has full access to my inbox. If he sees that, you know, it's hard to do anything now, but not documented. If I do something that breaks You know, at this point, he has a good sense of what my morals are and how I roll. He would, if he saw me do something, even if it didn't have anything to do with his world or the stuff that we do together that breaks that compass, he would then have to question everything that I've established with him as a moral compass, which would then lose the trust that we have, which would then slow us down in all the speed that I value the most. It's speed. The fact that this whole team here and this whole collective team here and you as a team here don't have to, once you get to know me, once I can get over that hump, don't have to then question anything from like a moral or emotional standpoint. It adds to the speed of everything. That's what a great culture is. It's speed. You're not spending the 15 minutes a day bickering. You're not spending the four hours a day wondering if that person's trying to ruin you. You know, you're not, you're not doing those things which then lets you go fast and fast. Fast, my friends, is the oxygen of winning the big, fast, important game. See, it's even a game called fast. You have to be fast. So for me, it's really, it's really uh, important that everything breaks the second I make that kind of decision and there's just not enough money. I mean, I guess there's enough money. Everybody has a price. A trillion? <laughs> you know, a trillion would feel that. And you know what's even funny? It's funny, even if that came out of my mouth, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm gonna end up I'm gonna end up leaving a lot of money on the table in my life because that's not the way I score myself. I score myself on the number amount of people, the matrix of the number amount of people that come to my funeral and the business success that I was able to create. You know, I'd be lying if it was just about everybody showing up to my funeral but then I was like, didn't win in this game that I play, scored in business growth dollars, all the things, the game. But a hefty push to, to that funeral number. You know, again, recently, unfortunately, in the tech space, we had a beloved character pass away uh, CEO of SurveyMonkey that a lot of people knew, a lot of my friends knew him really well. I didn't really know him well, but it was interesting how I was affected by it. Just watching the outpouring of what kind of a mensch, what kind of a great human being he was. You know, I'd be lying if I didn't say, wow, that, that's a little bit of a preview of what I want at scale as well. And so, um, I just, I, there, I don't even, you know, it's funny. I literally said a trillion and I'm taking it back. There's just, I just can't go there. It's just, it's just not the way I want people talking about me.